Okay, what is up everybody? So today we're back again with another video and as you guys can probably tell by the thumbnails, we're going to be talking all about skills and perks and generally what my recommendations are. I'm not going to be doing an in-depth guide on every single one, what every single thing does, just because I actually don't know. I'm going to be very honest with you. I know what most of them do, but personally, I'm just going to explain what my favorite ones are, which ones I would really recommend to get, and especially if you're a beginner, what I would aim to get at the beginning. So starting off with skills, because I think the skill point is the first thing that you actually unlock, is something that I find especially valuable, especially if you're a beginner and just trying to learn to do shot placement, I would highly recommend getting sight spotting. What you however need to do is you're gonna have to spend quite a few of your actual skill points on some useless stuff like scent tinkerer i personally don't think it really does anything just because scents are not really that useful in this game they're only lasting for a very short amount of time and generally are very inconsistent and if you do like them however i would instead of getting the more the merrier and then I would get dazed and confused because you can get a random animal attracted to your scent. But once again, not a big fan of the scent things. So how this tier system works up here is you have to get a certain number of skills from every tier to unlock the next one. So for the first one, you got to get one from tier zero to get to tier one. You got to unlock five in total in ambusher to get to tier two. And it moves on and on and on. So for example, you need to get nine skill points to unlock any one of these up here and 13 to unlock these right here. You only have a set amount of skills that you can spend in total. So in total here, if I were to count this up, I'm actually not quite sure how many you get, but this is, you can basically go to the end of one branch in one of them, but then not fully in the other. I don't think you can get tier four on both. You might be able to if you only get one out of three at all of these, but I, I wouldn't recommend it. I personally like the locating tracks three out of three just because it makes it thinner and it increases the distance as which you guys can actually see all of your tracks. Then invaluable is track knowledge. You're going to find out the health of the animal, the weight, and later on, if you actually get disturbed vegetation, you can actually see what fur variation an animal is, which is crucial in this game. I would also highly recommend that you get an increase in 15% of your health. I think it's really valuable. Secondly, soft treat, which will reduce your noise generated in certain vegetations, like the grass, leaves, bushes, and shrubs. And I would also get that this one, the innate triangulation, I think that's how you're going to pronounce that, but it basically decreases the size when an animal warning calls or gives a mating call. I think it's really nice because you'll be able to find more animals that way. I would also really get improvised blind because there's a lot of times where you are going to be in bushes or scrubs just trying to sneak up on an animal to see better and it's just going to decrease your visibility in those certain bushes and scrubs and I just think it's really good. Endurance, one of my favorite ones, it just allows you to run and shoot faster so if you're sprinting and you want to calm down your breath quicker, this is the skill to go for. Then another one in the ambusher, I would highly also go for spotting knowledge just because it gives you the health of an animal, how aware the animal of you is, and also the approximate trophy rating and weight that the animal is, which can be really good, especially right now where you can find the middle value of any animal by taking the lowest estimate and the highest estimate, adding them together, dividing it by two, and you'll find the exact score that that animal should score roughly around. So if it's like 35.4 and you're probably going to know that it's anywhere between 33 and 34 based on that estimate that you're going to get. So this is extremely helpful for you guys. I wouldn't recommend going into any of these. I just don't think that the increased carrying capacity is going to be necessary. Necessary is going to be necessary just because I think it's a little bit useless. You don't really need that much, especially on the new map Silverage Peaks where you only technically need two guns. So... I wouldn't get it if you do like it definitely go for something else there are definitely other guides on youtube that might tell you different things this is once again just my personal things 
So that's going to be it for skills. I hope you got a decent understanding of what I want to do in terms of that. So in perks, I'm a rifles guy, so I play a lot with rifles. So obviously I chose all of the ones that are better for rifles. If you're more of an archery type person or someone who uses the bows a lot, definitely go for these perks more than the rifle ones, but don't go overboard. I don't think you need all of them. So for rifles, the most important one, I think for anything, is getting the zeroing perk. It's going to allow you to zero your weapons and give you a bit more of a precise aim of where you're actually shooting the animal. So you can set it, for example, on most rifles, it's, it's 75, 150, and 300 meters, and it's just going to save your life so many countless times. The way that you activate this perk is by clicking on it, and then there's going to come up a little field right over here that says activate. You're going to want to press that. I'm actually going to show you guys here. So you're going to click, left click on it, and then just press the activate button and that perk is going to activate. You can only have one perk active at a time. So do choose wisely. Then the next thing I would highly recommend is going down this lane here. You can choose either one of these. It doesn't really matter. I just wanted the quick feet just because it was just help more helpful at the time. But if you're getting attacked by animals more than definitely go for the survival instinct. I would really recommend lightning hands just because it decreases the reload time of all weapons, which is really, really necessary if you're using something like the 338 or the 7mm where follow-up shots are going to be more limited if you don't have this just because the reload time is so long. In the shotgun section, I would recommend going down here because recall management for something like the M1, the 30 odd 6 the 300 any of those multi-clip animals, I would highly recommend that because your recoil is just not going to be as bad and follow-up shots are just going to be so much easier. Then archery, if you are someone in the archery region, just look what kind of perks you're trying to find or what kind of perks you think are necessary. So for example, if you want to increase the accuracy when shooting from the hip, if that's something you do a lot, get this perk. I mean, don't go necessarily exactly what I say. Go what your gut feeling tells you and what you feel like you would need. But this was the general guide for skills and perks. If you want a more in-depth tutorial on any single one of these, definitely let me know down below and I will actually do a tutorial on that one skill or that one perk and kind of showcase it in a bit of a longer video and in something where I actually go out and hunt those animals. But with that being said, if you like this video, hit that like button. If you dislike the video, press that dislike button. But if you're new around here, make sure you guys subscribe and stick around on the channel because I have quite a few nice videos coming around and some cool hunts. But without further ado, have a good day. Bye bye and peace.